I would have to tell you that upon reflection, which by the way, it's a lot of that. A lot of that came later. I didn't have much time to reflect in the early days. And, and as a young fella, I was in the moment on everything. I wasn't like, hmm, let me see, how can I put that in the big scheme of life and so on. It was like, holy mackerel. Uh, so, uh, but I, there was something going on in the space task group. Some of you were there. There was something going on in the space task group. I didn't know what, exactly what it was. I didn't have a label for it. Uh, but it was really leadership. It was going on all around me uh, at all levels. Uh, we had a guy running the Manned Spacecraft Center, as it was called then, after Space Task Group, and then before it was named JSC Johnson Space Center, uh, Bob Gilruth, who gets not near the credit that he should get for what was done in the space program. But let me just give you a little uh, snippet of what people who were his peers, not, not my age, but the same age as Bob Gerruth, and had worked with him for years at, at, up at Langley Field in that, at ACA. Uh, you've heard of management by, you've heard of management by the numbers, you've heard of management by fear, you've heard of management by intimidation. You know, there's a lot of styles that uh, are associated with management. One of these fellows was trying to explain Bob Gerruth one time, and he says, when asked about his style, said, he does management by respect. Now, I never heard that before or since said about anybody, and you can mull on it if you want, but it was a magic thing. Uh, he, he had a, a great way of making people feel trusted. As a matter of fact, uh, we operated on a kind of a, one of these balanced chemical equations where they gave us uh, trust and the stuff to do the job, support. Uh, and they did that every day. They gave us trust. They witnessed this assignment of this 25-year-old kid to do this job in the control center. Uh, and we gave them back loyalty and the best job we could do. And, you know, it was perfectly balanced because the trust continued and our... And our sense of obligation for having been given that trust increased our ability or our incentive to uh, perform well and so on. And I look back on it and I realize that that's as good an equation for leadership as you can get. Uh, trust by the, by the boss and support for whatever you need and you give back loyalty and the best job you can put forward. And it just helped everybody. And it was, it was like a magical, it was like a magical place. I said that, but it was, a, it was I would see it in action and I didn't, I didn't know how to label it. I never did get around to labeling leadership because I didn't know about that discussion, which is so common today. Everybody talks about it. But I lived in a world where they lived it. Every, every minute of the day, they were, they were management by respect and leadership. Uh, and uh, most of my career was spent pretty closely uh, under the leadership of Chris Kraft, um, and he was a he was just a phenomenal guy. When you live work somewhere, and you often ask, find yourself asking the question, "Why didn't I think of that?" Then you're living in a world where you got some leadership that is doing that. They thinking of that, and uh, it was fun to watch.